Hi and welcome to the Subcore YouTube channel. Today we're going to be reconnecting a Wi-Fi module if it's lost connection from your previous router. So before we start, we must make sure we've got a 2.5 gigahertz connection and the MailCloud iPhone app or Android app on our phones. We then come to the module, which is usually located in the top right hand corner of each individual unit. If it's not in the top right hand corner and it's an older module, it will be located in the bottom right hand corner. So as we come to the module, we see four different LED lights and two different buttons, the reset and mode buttons. As a first preliminary point, we reset the module for 12 seconds. This will enable us to put the module back to factory settings. We should see the unit and mode lights blink as I let go of reset, and that means the initialization has been successful. Once we get back to a solid unit light, we then will hold down mode for 10 to 12 seconds until we see mode go to a consistent um, two second pattern like this. We then let it go. That's now put the module into access point mode. So we now need to look at the back of the module for the SSID and the key, which are both written here at the bottom. We'll then go on to our mobile phone. We should then see the module come up, which marries up with this number on the back. We then connect to the module using this pin here, remembering it is case sensitive. And we then hit join once we've entered the password. And this will take us to a connection to the module. If your phone does say you, this internet provider does not have any internet connection like mine has, please stay connected to the module. We then need to go onto our iPhone Safari or Android Google Chrome or whichever web browser you use and type this IP address in. So it's 192.168.11.1 and hit enter. So this is our configuration page. As we can see at the moment, it's telling us the current SSID is default SSID. So what we need to do is find our web page, our SSID within this drop down list using this small arrow here. We'll show you all of the available networks. Click to your network password and input your network password. And then ensure that you scroll all the way to the bottom of the page and click submit. This will then send the signal back to the module. And if we've inputted the details correctly, the module should reset like it has done. We should see a unit light first and within 15 to 20 seconds, we should then see the net light begin to blink. If this is the case, as this module is, we're now connected to the internet.